morning and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, if you're new to the show, this the Daily Bible is a show where we go through the Bible verse by verse. And uh, we started off in the Gospel of Matthew on December 1st. And uh, today we're right in the middle of Matthew chapter 5 in the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount. And today we are going to cover Matthew chapter 5, verses 7 and and 8. So here we go. Matthew chapter 5, verse 7 and 8 says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You know, there's a saying I'd like to say um, regarding mercy Christ shows us so much mercy. So much. Are we quick to give it? So the thing I like to say is those who have been shown much should be quick to give it. So those who imitate the Father's mercy by extending forgiveness to others, that's kind of what that verse is talking about there. The merciful are patient and understanding and bearing with others' faults, and they're generous. They're generous in aiding the needy by works, by works of charity, by compassion, and when the final judgment comes, they will receive that mercy forever. So are we showing mercy to others the way that God has shown mercy on us? So that's kind of a challenge I want to put forth today from this verse. Christ has shown us so much mercy by forgiving by forgiving us. Are we holding on to something that someone else has done to us. Maybe it's years ago. Maybe it was last week. Whatever the case is. Now it doesn't mean that we forget. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that we forget that. But are we letting. Are we forgiving that person. Because we're all human. We all screw up. Let's, let's, ex- let's extend the mercy that we've been shown. To others. In verse 8, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Here Jesus is talking about those who act with integrity and serve the Lord unselfishly. unselfishly. So in biblical terms, the heart is the center of the person where one's thoughts, words, actions, emotions, where all these things are said to originate. A pure heart is undefiled by evil. And it finds its true source in heaven. It finds its true source in heaven. So in eternity, the pure in heart will see God, even as the angels do now. And we can see this in Matthew 18.10, 1 Corinthians 13.12, and Revelation 22.4. This is what's called the beatific vision. So just a couple, a couple key, key takeaways from today's verses. And I apologize, I'm still a little under the weather, so if you hear some sniffles, that's kind of where that's from, so my apologies. Let's extend mercy. Let's forgive Let's, the way that we've been forgiven. I know it's hard. It's very hard to forgive someone who's done us harm. It's very hard. But as Christians, we are called to forgive. It doesn't mean we forget. It doesn't mean we're doormats. But we need to extend that mercy to others. Because we never know what that extension of mercy is going to do down the line. Maybe that's going to be the catalyst for that person to turn their life around and turn to Christ as well. And let's strive. Let's strive to put Christ first. And let his thoughts be our thoughts. So our hearts can be pure. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this episode of the Daily Bible Podcast. If you enjoy the show, I ask that you please share it. Please rate it. Uh, Please leave a review on iTunes. Uh, Please forgive the sniffles. I'm getting over... Getting over the flu, unfortunately. Um, 
So it's been a rough few days, but we're pushing through it. This is a daily show. The show must go on. So like I said, please rate the show. Please share it. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening. And as always, I pray that this show is helping you in some way. God bless you.